So fam, um, welcome back again to another video. So this video will be divided into three parts. The first one I'm talking about payment plans. The second one I'm talking about UK, third one Canada. So um, the payment plans is going to work for any other package that I have. So like I explained in my previous video, I uploaded a video talking about Australia tourist visa is not available, right? And like some of you said, the money is a whole lot and for me to tell you guys to pay at once. Like I said, the people I'm working with, them, they trust me. But me, I do not trust the people because people have showed me shaky. So that's why I'm requesting for the full payment. And that's because of two reasons. The first one, you know I'm not working with Nigerian agents, right? So working with all these international people, you have to pay them in dollars. I know what exchange rate is saying. Like I, I used to have a client like, like that Australian woman I was talking about. That her dad got sick and I had to put her work on hold. That I told the people that she's the only one that can come here that money and money. It's not even money and money. We had to put her work on hold because her dad was sick. I've explained it before. Mm -hmm. So because she didn't pay her money once, anytime she wants to pay past me, the money will be increasing because of dollar rates. But thankful to God, she was really a very, very understanding woman. Very, very understanding. I've been so lucky with very good clients like that. So I'm always just ah, ah, so eh, eh, like that yeah. so for exchange rate and second one is because i don't trust the people in my last video somebody left it in the comment section that say i cannot hold your passport in like i said the people i'm working with if you say i'm still working with nigerian agents that is nigerian i can tell you to go and meet them in the office that one going to change you eh, i would have taken my service charge eh, i don't want a physical office i want online office yes uh -huh. And the key, and the thing is, I, I, all this season of somebody's international passport, and because you need your passport. For example, I can tell you they get a document, police character certificate, this one. And you know, we are in Nigeria. The most means of identification, if it's in our border, that we all have, all of us that we all have, if you ask a normal average person, what was your means of identification, international passport? In? So if I take that from you, okay, some people can have driver's license or anything, and that passport, you will obviously need it. <laughs> So I don't really, and I'm, I don't want a physical office, and the people I'm working with, they are not in Nigeria. She they will come and take your passport and say because of, do you understand? So that one cannot work. There's no way I can hold ransom to your passport. So um, what I thought about, because really the money is actually a whole lot. So what I thought about is because before now, I felt um, if I'm doing the application, I'll, I'll carry you guys along like i'll use your email i'll use your phone number for those people that i've worked with in the past like people that I apply for care job for i i made episode clinic or you can check progressive video they know me very well i like to carry my client along with what i'm doing i'll use my i'm not all those type of agents i'm not an agent to all those type of people that they use their email they use their phone number you never know it's in the app me i like to um take my client along so that nobody will text me ah I did not say anything. Hey, you go to see the emails yourself. You go to see which I did. You go to. But the thing is, they'll just give me the password to their email. The people that I've worked with, they know this about me. They'll give me the password of their email so that if they tell me to confirm anything, I'll have access to that. But they go to see which I they do. So that was what I had in mind to do to use you people's contact details and everything. And I know that along the line, there's no way you can. You likely get to know the person I'm working with. About look, the main street single you get. But now, I'm going to be using my email for every application, my email, my phone number for every application. So I feel like that one is better. So that one, you will not have access to it. So to that one, you should not pay your this. So I'll just tell you that the schedule for biometric, I'll just screenshot it. And uh, where's my money? That's how you miss it, you. Uh -huh. I think that one is better. So now the four payments, you can split it into four parts. Yeah, it's four million, but I told you two two M on the top is for you. So hundred K on the top is for you for your visa fee, for your miscellaneous like all these police character certificates, clinic all those ones. <laughs> so the first part before we even start documentation at all, you can pay one million naira. We we'll do documentation and everything. At least you see that one with your eye. Then before I apply, you pay another one million. At least you'll be paying it after each progressive step. <laughs> You pay under one million. Then, when they now call you for biometric, obviously that's under that good sign. You pay under one million. Then, after biometric, yeah, we'll wait. So, like I said in that video, 
you know i used to tell people i like to give applicants long waiting time even if the thing will take one week i feel that you say the thing will take one month i know how applicants can but i don't want somebody to box me hey, alpha, alpha, alpha. and i don't like to i don't know how to work on that prayer no you say i can i like to give them long but people that have worked with me they know that even if i give them long duration it's going to be short but i don't like i like to extend it ahead like that so biometric after biometric and they tell you to come and pay your passport collection you pay the next one million so in that way your your all those emails all those things they are sending it to me i'll just send you a screenshot to see you and i'll blot the dates you get so if you don't pay my one million be pass and and that thing about all these tls contacts vfs contacts if they don't give you appointment you cannot go there that's why why i even like team um, you cannot go there yes you have to have appointments before you go there so there's no way you can run me streets like that i hope you understand so this explanation i feel like this payment plan is better right so you pay one million at one million era at each stage at least that one you go to see your progress and every other thing like that uh -huh. and yeah so today i'm talking about uk and canada tourist visa so like i said the only package i have for now is tourist visas the work visa that i have i've explained in that my australia visa and why i'm not going with it so any visa that i'm not going to be actively involved with visa, i don't know what is going into your application and another thing is okay i know that some people might feel like why are you charging for uk tourist visa you get you will agree with me that the easiest visa to get is uk student visa but when it comes to their tourist visa, for those of you that have applied before, you've tried, it's very difficult. I say anything tourism uh -huh. from Nigeria, they used to show us paper because they know what they are running away. So it's what we make you spend more to buy your student visa and they will give you. But anything tourism, yeah, for those of you that have applied before, and before now, I've gotten some people in my email that they use the particular agents that ban them. And that's why me, I'm shouting now. So some people might feel like, ah, your money is too expensive. Your money, please go and meet cheap agents. Go and meet cheap agents. There are so many affordable agents. But tell that they don't buy that shame ban like TV times now. Don't buy in UK, don't buy in Canada, don't buy in Australia. You will go Pakistan or anything. So it's me that know the emails that I managed to receive. I've seen a lot of people that they apply for UK tourist visa or Canada tourist visa. They didn't give them, not only that they didn't give them, they, they, they dash them ban. Um, for mm -hmm. now why me i they always stay careful i they always stay anybody i'm working with oh, Benny, let me see what you they do let me see how they do my client application because the highest god forbid though god forbid the highest that should happen is even if they will refuse refuse you refuse now it's okay you can appeal maybe missing documents maybe you do not hey, refuse that you can appeal but it won't ban you know all those bad ones, you know, yeah, immigration lawyer, you please, I don't want to be involved. God knows, I did not plan my this. So it's not, that's what I say, it's not going to come for me. Eh, eh. Along with you, Nije. So if you like, ask your money is much, there are a lot of cheap agents. Go on, it's time, just type cheap agents, you can, you go see them. Go on, um, go, go, you go, they are plenty. They are plenty. Those of you who don't shop ban, UK ban, um, some of you are even watching me, you go no waiting if you, eh, uh, cheap, they are very affordable. Uh, so, the UK tourist visa, if it's your first time, you're eligible to six months, and the next one, if you apply again, one year and everything. Why for you, um, Canada one is 10 year multiple entry. So, how long does it take? Um, like I used to give clients 30 days to one month, 30 days to four months, yeah. That's the duration that I used to give clients, but most that excuse me there is 30 days so it could be more and again depending on the amount of applications that they see at that time that you are submitting depending mm -hmm. so it can come earlier it can come later it can come you understand so i'm, I'm not the embassy i don't have any power to decide that how you're this so that's i like to give long time frame and everything sure yeah then another thing is we all know what you are using this um may i change the picture we know waiting with the easy stories visa are too bad unless some of you that you really want to talk in real life for oh, this little long you want to talk but if you know say now jack by the day with this stories visa now i have uk i have canada i have australia 
and I'm saying again, Tori's visa package. Before you choose anyone, if you know say na japa you day, say you won't go, you know they come back. Make sure say you send me your CV. Pay 25k consultation fee. I will go to your CV and I will pick country for you. You know, say I don't talk out for video. Say, you know, if you use the same stone where you use mayor Canada, use a mayor UK, use a mayor Australia. No be all job you go fishy for Australia. No be all job you go fishy for Canada. No be, and you know, say the plan be say, may you take that tourist visa. More we'll use and change to um, work visa. More we'll use and get LMIA and change. You get. So in that view, you guys to target country will be say they need your service. No go they go country will be say to see sponsor job when you go sweet. So now why they tell people say send your CV, 25k consultation fee, but most of you people you go see and say a waste of money. Do you want wasting 4 million and 25k? Which one better for you? Because me, I don't understand. You prefer to even pay 4 million than 25k. Now why they tell you, unless say you won't go do tourism choo choo, if you won't go do tourism choo choo, it's fine. No need to send your CV. Eh, eh, go to. But if you don't say you won't use this one, you won't use Japa. And in that Japa, you don't say you don't feel work on tourist visa. You have to change change it to work visa. So in that view, we have to look for a job where we say go give you visa sponsorship. Send your CV. And like I used to say, if you know say you don't get qualification, there are so many courses where if you do one week, two months, three months, this thing. See the duration of the um, visa entry before the this thing app, you could they do them. So that when you get there, you know go struggle. No side it will come now. Some of you, you just have natural love for UK. If I just say your CV, you know jail with UK and you say you want to go there, me it's cool your money, but me as a concerned somebody. Because you see UK, Canada, Australia, check their occupation list, check their query, they are TV different countries entirely. TV different countries entirely. They are TV different this thing. So before you choose, say that you can make go to Canada, make I go through your CV. Make sure say your career path is jail with the country where you want to pick. Not be say when you go with tourist visa and you go they struggle with job. And why I say make sure say the job where they target, they 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 need them like all this LMI. So Canada too is another country that um they they would like to change your visa. Like they will give you job if you're on ground. Mm. And they don't like to they recruit outside the country. Forget all these YouTubers that I used to say eh, Canada is recruiting food picker. Canada is re recruiting farm worker. Even Canada can never ever, ever, ever recruit you as a farm worker from outside Canada. If you be known all this EU or nearby or the few is in you, but say farm picker, farm clinical, forget about it. Mm -hmm. So another thing is Canada if we have Prospects because like all these farm worker, farm picker, right? You see visa sponsorship for them, but the thing is, they, they require you to have experience. So if not, to start picking farm for me before you go, please do it. Mm. So like I said, um, you tell me your intending country. I'll go through your CV. I will tell you the one where you get job prospects the most because the thing is, once you change your visa, even if now UK you want finally, you feel migrate, you can't always migrate. But the first step is make sure that your formula you don't waste. In no ways, I know say now my money I won't collect. I know say, but if I that, I'm still for that a bot because that money is a whole. I'm not talking about forty thousand. It's not four hundred k. So make sure say you shop your car. Even some of the people that reach out there, where they do all these stories visa, I ask them when you take this stories visa, what was your plan to do it? They say they want jump but they no go come back. Okay, fine. When you jump, you no go come back. What is the plan? Will you get for that country? They can't talk. Even the people that when we say they shop ban you know, for their tourist visa, they shop ban. I ask them, as you say they approve this your tourist visa. When you reach that UK, when you reach that Canada, when you reach that Australia, waiting be your plan. They say they will not come back. So you plan to stay illegally. If you don't they plan to stay illegally from before leaving your country, you say, I hear don't they do you? I hear it don't they do you? Australia tourist visa, you can get for three months, six months, nine months, twelve months. But three months is the minimum, depending on the consul. Like nine go decide that one. Um, UK one minimum is six months. Um, Canada on ten years multiple entry. So, but, but the maximum you can stay in three months. So, if you want to tell me that in three months, in three months, ninety freaking days, you cannot plan something tangible. Like you can't plan something good with your life. That means you know if you make a making for life with that too. 
So now why did they say no be say me you just jackpot? I know that I should say jackpot with sense. I go use four million jackpot and then you go be staying illegal. Why? Just stay in your house. Go and rent estate in Nigeria. Just stay there now. So my goal of opening this channel is not for me to see immigrants wasting money. Do not waste money. So if you want to go with tourist visa, have your plan so that even before the end of one month, you don't get a job, you don't change your visa. Finish chicken. Huh? Even you go, you go there, be that your four million where you spend. The money gone down, they come back. But imagine you spending four million just to be, and be, be an illegal immigrant in Canada, in UK. You yourself, you will hate yourself for the rest of your life because now everything will you do, dodge, dodge. You know, before you went out, before you. Ah, what? You will. <laughs> <laughs> Person they live legally go for UK. Let alone you, you go they do it. So anytime you see police I and mean, you go they hide. Better stay in your country. Better stay in your country. So that's what I'm telling you people. There's nothing wrong in going there as a tourist. But what is wrong is if you don't have a plan, four million is a whole lot of money. Send your CV. Pay 25 fee consultation fee. I will go treat. Even if in the UK you won't go, if I say you don't get job prospect for UK, guy, go Canada. That one, that one will take you, now that one get this thing. And so if you go there, if you don't like Canada, at least you don't get that work permit. You feel migrate. And again, and that thing is, as I work visa, Canada has some other benefits. Yeah. Yeah, Canada, as I work visa, Canada has some really other benefits. That is kind of, I don't know, sure. Anyways, those was I will tell that one will be after payments. I'll tell you how you pay. So if you if you're going for Canada, I'll tell you the two things that you can do in Canada. Either to apply for work visa or yeah, I'll tell you Canada has the this thing. Other countries has it too, but they go show you paper. But I know that Canada does it very easily. Very, very easily. So for those people going to Canada, it's two in one package. But for UK and this thing, just focus on work visa so that's what i came to tell you guys so how much is the amount same amount as the australian one four million for the total package and i've explained the payment plans at the beginning of this video if you skip go back and watch it yeah then what are the documents required like i've told you the normal documents but then if you go on their website you see 10 15 documents but me i have my own customized documents according to you know when you apply for tourist visa you have to prove and prove and prove that ah, i swear to god i'm not running away uh -huh. so you have to prove and prove and prove. and like i said i don't get documents for people i don't do that and when me want prove a front i don't know what in they talk and me clinic i don't know what in they talk mm -hmm. so you're getting your document yourself but i'll tell you how to go about it if you need insurance or anything this is, i'll send you the address this is how you do it you go and give them your password they will give you this one send it to me and um, go to cyber cafe do pdf for me chicken now if you like do fake if you like do original you know consign me now what you give me i will take apply so if they deny you based on fraudulent documents hold yourself don't come and face me mm, i don't used to get documents for anybody so how much is proof of fund um depend if you're going like a one week this thing right that's like 1.5 or one point like 1.5 to two million era for one week train um tourism and then another thing is in as much as i said uk gives six months canada gives 10 years and then australia gives three months that's why i tell you that stop worrying let me do this thing there are some things i cannot say because you can't just say eh tell canada that eh, you want to go on three months vacation you want to go on, tell uk you want to no they know you are running away mm, they know so you have to use reverse psychology on them. Mm -hmm. And that's why I said, I am your best bet. Yes. So in that, because I said we are writing SOP. That's like travel engineering. How you want your this thing to do. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. Why I say you could use reverse psychology on them. Because if, if you come up in a uh, salon. Mm -hmm. So those ones, like, why change your form? Wait, no, this is why you want to do. This is not what you want to do. But like I said, most of you are using it to jackpot. Whatever that, make sure that you have the right qualifications and make sure that the country is fit for you. So if you can't decide if the country is fit for you or, or at all, come and pay consultation fee, 25k. Let me go through your CV. And if you know that 
you've gotten it, you know what it got, you do, you have what it takes, it's fine. Mom needs to do visa. When you shall reach there, please nobody should mention my name. And that's why I'm taking my time to make this video because to bad thou who call me. If you mention my name, who activity why I'm at this way? Because a make it all. So like I've explained the payment plan there, which other thing? <sighs> Those are the this thing. That is um okay. But now for the application, I will have to use my details to apply for you. Yeah, because you are not paying for I don't want you to run me straight. Mm. But I will tell you how the process is going through screenshots, through all of that and can go like that. So that brings us to the end of this video and yeah. So if I have any other package shop, I will let you know. So from now on we'll go back to our normal video posting of DIY doing it yourself. Right? So if you know you're interested, you send a mail, you send a DM. Yeah. So guys, this will be going to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.